Hello, my name is Shreya and in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you about NumPy. NumPy is nothing but a Python library. I am using Jupyter Notebook for executing my lines of code. I'll start with the introduction of NumPy, how we can import the NumPy package inside a program, how we can create arrays. We'll talk about zero dimensional, one dimensional and two dimensional array. And I will show you how we can create this. I'll also be teaching you what is indexing in NumPy. How, what is the shape in NumPy, how we can reshape and how we can do slicing. So without wasting any further time, let's just get into it. So NumPy is nothing but a Python library, as we all know. NumPy is used for working with arrays. NumPy is short for numerical Python. The question is that why should we use NumPy? In Python, we already are familiar with lists. Then why should we use NumPy? We use NumPy because it aims to provide an array object that is up to 50 times faster than traditional Python lists. The array object in NumPy is called ndarray. It provides a lot of supporting functions that make working with ndarray very easy. Arrays are very frequently used in data science where speed and resource is very important. NumPy arrays are stored at one continuous place in memory, unlike lists. So processes can access and manipulate them very efficiently. This behavior is called locality of reference in computer science. Okay, now let us talk about that. How can we import this NumPy library inside our program? So for doing that, we will have to write import NumPy as NP. Okay, so let me write it. Import NumPy as NP. Okay, so from here on, my NumPy will be called as NP. So I will not have to write NumPy, NumPy all the time, okay? I can just write NP. And for executing, I will just press Shift plus Enter. So now I have successfully executed my NumPy package inside my program. So for creating an array, we will have to write these lines of code. I have already written this. So array is equal to np.array and inside the round bracket, I have given square brackets and I have put in elements inside my array. So this is one dimensional array. Okay, so I'll just write a comment line. One dimensional. Array. Okay, so this is how we can create one dimensional array. Now, if I execute this statement, I will be able to see the array which I have just created. So for executing the statement again, I'll press shift and enter. So as you can see that I have successfully created one dimensional array. In this way, we can also create multi-dimensional array. So suppose I want to create two dimensional array, for instance. So what will I write? I will write ARR is equal to NP dot array and inside my round bracket since I'm creating a 2D array so I'll take two square brackets and inside the inner square bracket I'll put in some elements for example 1, 2, 3 then I'll put a comma and I'll again put a square bracket and 4 5 6 okay so if i write print inside round bracket arr and if i execute this shift enter so you can see that i have successfully created a two dimensional array two dimensional array basically means two rows okay all right Similarly, we can create a zero dimensional array also. So a zero dimensional array is nothing but the array with only one element. So over here, this array of mine contains only one element that is 42. So if I print this array, shift enter, I only get 42. Okay. So this is a zero dimensional array. So I'll just add a comment. This is a zero dimensional array all right
Now moving on, how can we access array elements? So before knowing that how can we access the array elements, we will first have to know more about indexing. So what is indexing? So suppose that this is my array. Let us take this example. Okay, this line of code. Suppose this is my array 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So the first number or the first element inside my array which is 1, this element is sitting on the 0th index. Okay, so indexing in the array starts with 0. The second element is sitting on the first position or the first index. Similarly, the third element is sitting on the second position. So now you get the flow, right? My first element is sitting on the 0th index. Alright? So suppose I want to access my second element. Suppose, let's say I want to display 2. So what can I write? I can write print and inside round bracket I can write ARR. I'll put a square bracket. Since I want to display 2 which is the first element, sorry, it is sitting on the first position. So I'll write 1. Okay. Shift enter and see 2 is being displayed. So this shows that the indexing starts with 0. Okay. The indexes in NumPy always starts with 0, meaning that the first element has index 0 and the second has index 1 etc. Alright. Now suppose that I want to access fifth element on the second dimension. So for accessing the fifth element on the second dimension, what will I have to write? I'll have to write the lines of code 1 comma 4 wherein 1 stands for the number of row and 4 stands for the number of column. Okay. So if I execute this shift enter, so the fifth element on second dimension is 10 which is clearly seen over here okay moving on if i want to access the second element on the first dimension so i'll write array and inside the square bracket i'll write 0 comma 1 okay so let me execute this one and as you can clearly see that the second element on the first dimension is 2 which is again very clearly shown over here okay now we have discussed enough about indexing and how we can access the array elements. So let us talk more about shaping of an array. If we want to know about the shape of an array, we'll just, the statement is arr.shape. Okay, the statement is arr.shape. Alright, shape of an array is the number of elements in each dimension. Okay, so suppose this is my array. Okay. And uh, I just press shift enter. Uh, okay, sorry. Space. So this is my array. And uh, suppose I'm taking a two dimensional array over here. And I want to know the shape of this array. Okay, so I press shift and enter. The shape of the array is 2 comma 4. So what does it tell you? It basically tells me that the shape of my array is 2 comma 4 basically means that my array has two rows and four columns. Okay. So yes, my array has two rows and four columns. Let us check how. So if I write print and inside ARR. Okay. So see, my array has two rows and four columns. So the shape of array which is being displayed over here is correct. Okay. So we have talked more much about shape. Now let us talk about reshaping. Okay. Reshaping basically means that see this is one one dimensional array. Okay. Only one line, only one row, one dimensional array. But I want to make it four dimensional. Okay. I want to make it four dimensional. Then what can I write? I can give the code ARR which is the name of the array dot reshape and inside because I want to make it four dimensional I'll write four comma three means that there will be four rows and there will be three columns so if I execute this statement 
my one dimensional array is now a four dimensional array good enough okay now slicing so what is slicing slicing arrays in python means taking elements from one index to another given index we pass slice instead of index like this so the code is start colon end okay so we will have to define the index at the starting position and we'll have to write the index at the ending position as well okay and we can also include step so the step can be one or two if we do not pass it starts with zero if we do not pass the end the length is con the considered length of an array in that dimension okay if we do not pass step it's considered as one we'll see with more examples okay so over here in this example suppose that this is my single dimensional array and i want only these four elements one two three and four okay so i'll write arr in the starting position i'll write one okay and in the ending position okay suppose we want only two three and four in the starting position i'll write one because the two is sitting on my first index and in the ending position i'll write five okay so if i execute this i'll get through two three four and five it basically means what that it has started counting from the first index which is two then it goes to the second index which is three then it goes to the third index which is four then it goes to the fourth index which is five but it does not goes to the it does not go to the fifth index okay so the fifth index is omitted but up till from one to four we get all the elements which is two three four and five okay so this is this basically means slicing okay now suppose that if i do not specify that where my ending is okay so in that case it will take the length of the array to be the end so if i execute this line of code wherein i haven't specified the end then it starts from the fourth index which is 5 6 and it goes to the end which is 7 okay so the lines of code will be 5 6 and 7 all right okay now moving on so let us discuss the okay now suppose that we haven't discussed the start of an index so since we haven't discussed the start of an index i haven't put in anything in the start so if i execute this one it is taking elements from the very beginning okay it is including elements which is sitting on the zeroth position in the first position third position so it is including all the 0 1 2 3 position elements and i get 1 2 3 4 okay similarly suppose that if i want only 4 5 and 6 okay i only want elements 4 5 and 6 what can i write i can write arr is equal to np dot array inside round bracket to a square bracket suppose i am defining the one more new array maybe 1 2 5 6 7 okay this is a new array because we were talking only about 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so i just thought of taking a new array so okay this is my new array and now suppose i only want 2 5 and 6 from here so what should be my statement my statement should be print okay print can you tell me what should be the statement my statement should be 1 arr of course in square bracket 1 i want only 2 5 and 6 so my 7 is in the 
zero, one, two, three, four position. Seven will not be included, so I'll write colon four. Okay. Now if I execute this, so I get two, five, and six. Okay. So this is the way in which we can do the slicing. So I hope this tutorial was clear. You understood something. Creating an array, indexing, shaping, reshaping, and slicing. Thank you.